Hello, Hello, my beautiful Cancer friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you today. And at the end of this reading, Cancer, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card for you as well, an angel number. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into this reading. We are starting with the Two of Wands. So I feel some of you are looking forward to the future. You are making plans. You are contemplating. This is so exciting. There's a little worry I'm feeling around this too. The Chariot card. So it's time to get take charge of your life here, my friends. Get into the driver's seat of your life. All right. Things are about to happen. Things are about to move. You're about to move. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Lots of different choices that you are going to face along your path or decisions that you're going to have to make. All right. It's, it's time to make higher self choices, Cancer. All right. Give me a second here while I take a look at these cards and see what my intuition is drawing in. All right. I'm excited for you because... I feel a lot of you are focusing in on your future and trying to plan and strategize, put goals together, get yourself into a routine and really hit every goal out of the park. This is what I'm feeling here. And some of you are focusing in on moving, whether it's you moving to a different home, different city, a different country, wherever this is, know that there is going to be a lot of positivity coming into your life because of this. That change some of you have been wanting for for a long time is now finally happening for you. And because you're future planning and you have that clear vision, those of you that don't have that clear vision, get that clear vision now, my friends. Don't allow things to fog your mind, okay? When you have a clear vision, then the universe is able to assist you better, okay, and support you better. And those of you that have a clear vision, I feel you're working towards that vision. You're making things happen in your life. So here, because we have the two wands, I feel there's some of you are kind of in a place where there's two different things that you want to do. And whatever these two things are, remember, we're all living a different life. We're going through a different life experience. So we're all wanting something different, right? And I feel the move that is happening for some of you that are moving to a different country or a different city. You're going to meet a lot of new people along the way here. And those of you that are single cancers out there, I feel that some of you are going to meet your soulmate through your travels, through moving and uh, moving to a different country or a different city, even to a different home. Okay, there's a soulmate coming in for a lot of you. And usually this isn't a soulmate card, but I'm feeling a soulmate energy through this today. And Lots of different choices here, my friends. I'd like lots of different things happening. And the planning, the planning part's the fun part. Don't let this get you down or let it overwhelm you or stress you out. Take it one thing at a time here, my friends. Focus on one thing at a time. It's all going to work out. Don't stress yourselves. I also feel here some of you are planning to move to a different place because of work. Some of you are going to be switching out your jobs. Lots of different things happening here and know that things are going to move in a positive direction, okay? I feel that you have the energy, you have that fire burning within you in order to make things happen in your life right now because you have this bigger vision. And spirit guides are really assisting you at this time, showing you signs, some of you are feeling things intuitively in your gut. Your gut instincts are telling you to do something. So if you're living somewhere and you're not feeling right in that place and your gut and your gut instincts or something inside of you is telling you to move, that is what you should do, my friends. If you're in a job that's not good or comfortable, it doesn't bring you happiness or it's toxic and something inside of you is telling you it's time to make a change, make that change, my friends. I feel that intuitively you are divinely being guided. The universe will back you up. Okay, so a lot of this is going on here. You know, I'm seeing a lot of good coming into your lives, your cancer. And I keep repeating this because I truly feel that some of you that have been in a place where things haven't been working out the way you had anticipated, things are about to shift. Okay, and this is going to happen from you actually getting into motion getting into motion in some way, whether it's you finding and looking for a different job, looking for a new apartment, it's you acting and doing something. 
okay and with that it's time to take charge of your life here my friends this card predicts victory and triumph i do feel that a lot of you are building up the willpower to actually take action and get in the driver's seat of your own life there's something that's kind of gnawing at you whether this is you leaving your workplace to start a, a, a your own business, your own YouTube channel, your own social media account, whatever this is, this is for you. If you're wanting to travel, maybe you're going to build up the courage to finally move. Move to a different country, not let fear take get the best of you here. It's you getting into the driver's seat, building up that willpower, that strength to really push through any barriers that you might be facing right now. This is what I'm getting here. And you're equipped to your cancer. You are fully equipped to take anything on that comes your way, that comes in front of you down your path, just bulldozer through it. Don't let anything stop you from your dreams here, my friends. This is what this card is all about. This is like, this is spirit guides even helping push you forward. All right, so anything that you have been dreaming about, anything that you have been wanting to do, anything that you're envisioning in your future here, my friends, it's time to push through and make it happen for yourselves. This is Spirit Guides giving you the, okay, let's do it. Let's get into action. Let's make things happen. Okay, and with that, as you're going down this path, you're going to be faced with a lot of different decisions that you need to make. And spirit guides really want you to focus in on making higher self choices, my friends. And, you know, with this card, with the chariot card, I feel that as you're going through your path, you're going to face a few challenges, right? We're facing even the path that you're on currently, Cancer, the path that you're on right now, you're facing challenges there as well. So don't let things, you know, don't let fear or uncertainty take from your higher potential to reaching that place that you're trying to go okay and you know with all these cards here let me put these back into place the way they were here in front of me i do feel a lot of you are ambitious that you're wanting to really take action but you're kind of like i don't know where to start or i just don't know what direction to go right this is all about you making higher self choices so write things down what is it that you want to do what direction are you wanting to go? Even if you're unclear, what choices do you have right now that you that are facing you right now? Because each choice that you make, each decision you make will have a ripple effect, cause and effect, right? And with that, things start to unfold. And right now, rather than listening to people or asking for, you know, thinking about how it will affect somebody in your life right now i mean it's different if you have kids obviously you have to think about your children your husband you have to speak to your partner right as a family unit but if you're somebody that doesn't have a family um you're kind of solo maybe you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend it doesn't matter you know it's all about you and I'm not saying not to take them into consideration. I'm just saying that your path is your own here, my friends. And it's up to you to make those decisions based on what you want and not others around you. Yes, take them into consideration. But ultimately, you know, if you're work, So let me give you an example. Say you're working somewhere and you're not you're working at a job. You're not going to ask your partner if it's okay for you to work there because it might make them unhappy. No, you're going to pick your own job. You're going to pick your own career, right? So it's kind of like that. Um, I hope I'm making sense here. Sometimes I feel like I've got so much information coming in that I stumble over words or kind of go sideways here. Um, so any cho a choice that you're faced with now moving forward, think about yourself and what you want here, okay? And make it with your heart chakra, with your heart and how you feel and what you want in your life and what you want to see unfold. And don't worry about what other are, others are feeling or how they're thinking right now because this is your life path here, my friends. And I, I, I do feel that spirit guides are helping guide you al along the way here. So some of you are seeing synchronicities and numbers. You're seeing signs from the universe. Maybe you're dreaming something. Maybe you're feeling something that is kind of gnawing at you. That maybe you need to do something different with your life and you're facing all these different choices. And these choices are going to lead you down that path, right? So you have to listen to your heart here. 
And, you know, you have to take charge. You have to sit in the driver's seat, especially if you're feeling like things aren't going the way that you want. All right. And sometimes, you know, when we make decisions, we have other people telling us what we should do. And that is the worst thing because we know what we should do. You know what you want, what you should do. So we shouldn't, it's okay to take the advice, but it's ultimately up to you what you want to do with your life. And I keep going on about this, but I feel that your future is at play here and you are thinking about your future and how that's going to pan out for you. So whatever that vision is, have clarity around it here, Cancer, because right now is the perfect time for you to now make that change that you want in your life and really dedicate yourself to that place make things happen get into the driver's seat and move it start moving in that direction because it's all going to work out this is what this reading is all about moving in the direction that you want to go making lots of different choices based on that and striving forward there's a lot of victory and triumph moving into your life a lot of success and abundance all right and believe in the power of you my friends you are more powerful and more stronger than you know I do feel those of you that are wanting to embark on your own journey where you want to start a business or do something for yourself, start a project, build a home, whatever this is that you've been wanting to or longing to do, it's time to do it. Now's the time to take that leap of faith, take that big risk and just see what happens with it and trust in the universe and trust in yourself that you are capable of making anything happen if you want right? The decision is always yours. All right. So that is your reading here. I'm now going to pull an angel card for you and see what we get here. So those of you that have been seeing angel numbers, this will be your confirmation. And those of you that are watching that haven't seen a confirmation or an angel number, this will be your angel number. You can consider it that, or you can use this as an affirmation. And at the very end of this reading, I am leaving an affirmation for each and every one of you to use. So take advantage of that, my friends. All right, what are we getting here? Number one, five, I am wise. You are wise and you make wise decisions. I feel moving forward, you're going to have a lot of decisions to make a lot of choices, a lot of things coming up where you're going to have to make decisions around that. All right, so let me read this to you. Your love for others is powerful and you're able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all who would benefit from your warm heart felt words of wisdom. Look at that. That is a superpower in itself. I feel that cancers, you are very um, articulate with the way you express yourself through words. Okay, so use that as a superpower in order to get ahead in life. I do feel that... Um, you speaking is going to kind of lead the way here okay so that is your reading my friends i hope it resonates for you if it does please comment below hit that like button and if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that i wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and uh, thank you so much for watching everyone